Yes, tell me. So you, you asked me the question, how do you decide what to bring? Um, to make a stand interesting, uh, there are a combination of factors. You also have to make the stand attractive mm -hmm. and appealing without it being uh, uh, decorative. Yeah. And how do you do that? So we're very fortunate in having an enormous range of artists over a period of four decades, which is something that listen, I suppose, should be proud of now, that we are still growing after nearly 50 years, 50 years next year. Uh, I, I, I'm not terribly interested in making a virtual. It's only a, it's only a passing of time. But um, the consequence of that is that we um, represent a number of estates. Yes. And artists of the last four generations, like Dan Graham in, in, in the uh, Unlimited. Uh, Dan Graham did his very first show with any gallery with Listen in 1972, and he is still around. He was here yesterday, and he was very, very pleased. Yeah. Nothing gives me more pleasure than to see an artist come and look at, look at something like that. And, and there's the a good Anish Kapoor on Unlimited, too. In Unlimited, there's also a major uh, historical piece that was made in Japan in 1992 called Dragon, which is a pigment work. So here, what we try to do is link that in, in, in for those who have kind of an art memory for, for a few hours or, or, or a few minutes uh, because you will see here a pigment void piece which is very rare mm -hmm. very, very few of these were made uh, and, and also I wear wear yes but this this links with the the uh, the poor piece in the unlimited is they're both pigment pieces and has not made pink pigment pieces so far again since the early 90s. Okay. Maybe the mid 90s, I'd say. Uh, then we bring the Ai Weiwei. Uh, this is uh, a cast iron uh, uh, casting of, of, of a tree, a tree root. Turned upside down. Yes. Um, I don't think any reference to Bazlitz was intended. It's talking about something else. It's actually talking about modern China and its roots. And the way in which, symbolically here, you can see its roots have been cut off. It's been cast in, it's been cast in steel. Um, but this is steel? It's steel. It's been cast in steel, yeah. which is a symbol of China's industrial might. Yeah. It's also a reference to uh, there being an enormous surplus of steel in this in the world today, which is because the demand in China has fallen. Um, so he's using up some of the steel. That's uh, it's creating a little bit more demand. Uh, well. But the most, I think one of the most uh, intriguing aspects of this is that he is then um, covering it in industrial tar paint, automobile paint, as if it has been dipped. So to take that metaphor one step further, the roots and the branches of the, the old China have been cut off for the sake of industrialization and modernity. Yeah. Uh, and then to, to, to make matters worse, in a sense, uh, it was then covered in an industrial paint and sealed. Um, now, More? from a collector point of view, very interesting because this creates a landmark of this particular time. And history is about landmarks. History is about memory. Artworks are there, and art history is there to remind us of times past, times that we have lived through or before we lived. Because we're very intrigued to know what happened before we were alive. That's what museums do. 
Merci.